my friends welcome to lean chichichma global today we talk about measurement and systems analysis okay here uh, here are the concepts we'll be learning in this chapter so let us start design measurement system for business processes distinguish between the accuracy and the precision of a measurement system Distinguish between repeatability and reproducibility. Use graphs to assess repeatability and reproducibility of a measurement system. We examine chances of variation in a measurement system. We use ANOVA to assess the repeatability and reproducibility of a measurement system. Assess the linear and bias of a measurement system and we use attribute agreement analysis to assess a measurement process that records attribute responses. So let's get started. Let's talk about the basic concepts of fundamental of measurement systems analysis. Uh, we use measurement system in our everyday lives to make decisions for instance, at the grocery store, the cashier weighs our produce to determine how much to charge. We want the scales to be trustworthy so that we are charged the correct amount. The store also wants the data produced by the scales to be trustworthy. In that way, the employees can keep better track of inventory. If they all bring too much stock, it means they're losing profits due to spoilage. Ordering too little may mean losing sales. Both store and its customers must be able to trust waste on the scale, so the store defines a specific method for weighing procedure or produce. This measurement process is a series of actions used to collect data on particular characteristics. For the grocer, this may mean that cashier wipes the scales clean, places the items on the scale, and waits until the scale reading stops changing, and then presses a button to transmit the scales results to the cashier register. The need for trustworthy data is not unique for the grocery store. A nurse, is, a nurse uses a thermometer to measure a patient's temperature. An engineer uses an industrial caliper to measure the length of a steel bar. So why is it important to evaluate all of these measurement systems? Whether it's a grocery store scale, a thermometer or a caliper, a measurement system produces data that will be used to make decision. The patient's temperature may be may detect a dosage change. The caliper readings may determine if a machine needs to be replaced or recalibrated. Because the validity of any study Critical analysis relies on the quality of collected data. It is essential that the measurement system is adequate, but almost all measurement systems contain some amount of error. So what are the sources of this error? There are two potential sources of error in measurement systems, the measurement tool or gauge and the gauge operator. For example, the gauge may be affected by a change in room temperature. The operator may have not been trained to use the gauge properly, or operators may be using different procedures or procedures that don't specify how to take measurement. Sometimes the amount of measurement system error is so small that it won't make any practical difference but sometimes the errors can be can have a uh, have an adverse effect 
to better understand the implications of measurement system error, consider this measurement system for the elasticity of matrix form. The ball drop ball is set at a fixed height above the form and drops the same ball each time. Ideally, we would expect the ball to rebound to the same height every time it drops. Look more closely at this table, re uh, table rebound height measured by the ball wrapper. Suppose we need to be able to measure 1 inch differences in rebound height to adequately measure the elasticity of the form. In other words, we need the measurement system to be able to measure rebound height within 1 inch of the true height given the data. So does this device adequately measure the electricity of form? This measurement system is not precise enough to measure 1 inch differences in rebound height measurements for the same ball dropped on the same piece of foam vary by as much as 2 inches. This is too much variation to accurately de detect a difference of only 1 inch. We should use a measurement system with less variation so that we can detect important differences that are relevant to our process. In this chapter, we will learn how to e evaluate the quality of different measurement systems. We will use a gauge repeatability and reproducibility or gauge and a study to evaluate measurement systems that produce continuous data. We will use attribute agreement analysis to evaluate measurement processes that produce attribute data. Let's review a measurement process assigns values to describe a particular characteristic of a process. Measurement systems should be evaluated to ensure they provide trustworthy data. Measurement error can result from problems with the gauge or operator. Thank you for the listening. In the next Lesson we will talk about the accuracy.